My first memories go back to really being quite a small child and uh, uh, enjoying drawing. And I can remember spending hours and hours just uh, drawing with a ballpoint pen and a brown paper bag and the smell of that so it just takes me straight back to my childhood. I wasn't a good student in school, um, but I used to I used to find any opportunity I could to draw. So if teacher would say, you know, I want you to write a story about what you did in, over the holidays, I'd spend like two days doing the drawing and and ten minutes doing the writing. But uh, it, the kind of drawing got recognised, I think. The process is hugely important. The whole thing about squeezing paint and smelling the paint and mixing it up and dipping a brush in and then thrashing it around and splashing it. That is, that is a big, big thing for me. The, you know, the smell of oil paint is, it's, it's the best smell in the world. It's fantastic. Uh, and I put it down to the fact that my dad was a plumber. He would um, set me a little job and it was always running a seam of putty along the edge of the bench. And the smell of, of the linseed in the putty used to do it to me as well, so I blame him. For me, that big question about whether I was going to be an artist or whether I was going to be able to pay the bills. And I have to confess, I chickened out and I decided it was going to be better to pay the bills. And it was a difficult um, moral choice for me to make. Uh, but I, I came to the conclusion that I was actually being paid to teach and that my obligation was to my students. It's only now in this sort of what I call the later part of my career where I'm probably shifting the focus now around to my work supplemented by teaching. The list of artists that, that have inspired me, I think, throughout the ages just, just goes on and on and on. If I pin it right, right down, the people that uh, I keep coming back to uh, is, is obviously Picasso. He's, he's got to be the daddy, hasn't he? Just for his, his courageousness and his single-mindedness and his total focus on what he was doing and his application to his craft, it must have been exciting, so exciting to have been around at that time. I think if you'd been in Paris when he was doing what he was doing and making the discoveries that he did, it would, must have been one of the most exciting uh, places to be. I was lucky enough fairly recently to uh, make contact with uh, Alan Davy. He had briefly, again to pay the bills, he'd been a teacher. Uh, one of the London colleges, and I, I asked him, how did he get the best out of his students? And in a Scots accent, he said to me, um, I just used to say to them, try and get it as wrong as you possibly can. And I, I understood what he meant instantly. I, I, I do think about that quite often when I'm trying to, when I find myself in one of those um, situations where I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, how can I make this better? And I, I, I hear him thinking, well, just, just make a mess of it. Just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs>